welcome. I'm Peggy. Welcome to the kitchen. And today we have the things that are fresh and good for you. We also have some recipes that are different, but they're still easy and affordable. And I am so pleased to have Donna Bundrick Griffin. Donna and I are friends for many, many years. And she's here on behalf of the Walter P. Rowell and Sons Company. And you said it. You see our signs? They grow the freshest things you can possibly look for. And what a blessing. Thank you, Donna. Oh, Thank Peggy, you. it's always and a you've pleasure got to one of my work favorite with you. things, kale. We're going to be <laughs> featuring kale today because this is one of the most important foods that a person can eat. In fact, it's been called the queen of vegetables, and it has vitamin K, lots of vitamin K, and statistics prove that that has been shown to prevent cancer. Also loaded with vitamin A and vitamin C, even has calcium in it. So today we're going to share some good recipes right. uh, using kale, but I would like to uh, mention to your audience, our namesake is Nature's Greens, and you can find this product in, in the produce section of your local grocery store. And if you don't see it, ask, ask for, for it. Because it's fresh. It is very fresh, but, from our family to kale, yours. A lot of people say, oh, well, you know, I don't like the way it tastes. Well, you have all these different things you're going to show people and be surprised. That's exactly right. We're going to start off with a kale spaghetti sauce. All right, and this spaghetti sauce has vegetables in it. So if your children say, oh, I don't want to eat vegetables, you put the spaghetti sauce, they won't know. They won't they know they're eating not. vegetables. That's exactly right, because actually we Combine I'm a, put this a over series here for of right ingredients, now. and like Peggy said, nobody will know all the vegetables are in here. But what we've you done? You want me to stir this? Yes, now? Okay. we have simply put in two tablespoon, two tablespoons of the extra light olive oil, and I'm using one pound of ground turkey and one pound of extra lean ground beef. Peggy, something else that I'd like to mention is that we have another line. This is called our versatile veggie line. And um, we are using the chopped celery and onions. One reason I like to use these products, not only are they fresh from our family to yours, but also they're already cut up. They're already yeah, it's time washed. Yeah, saving. With, but see, you can just pour some of that in a salad. Oh, yeah. You know, Even time. a kale salad. And the kale, too, is already triple washed and cut up. So all you have to do is put it in your recipes. This line includes a Southwest Pico, which is one of my favorites. I know, I know. It you has love a roasted that. corn and black beans as well as original Pico. And also we have diced tomatoes, we have diced yeah, see, onions. It's all done for you ahead of time. Yes, we have sliced okay. squash, sliced zucchini, sliced okay. yellow squash, uh, a sliced squash medley. We have another one of my favorites is the fajita meats, because okay. you can saute that and make fajitas, make make vegetarian fajitas so good and so good for you. All right, you. now just a minute. Does this are in here? You yeah, put some package, of this, the whole package, the whole package of is the in diced there. celery and onions in right. here with a pound of lean ground beef and a pound of turkey, turkey cut that's up. That's right. All right. And uh, actually and, and you what didn't we have, did, I don't think you have maybe what, a little olive oil in there, Two Not tablespoons, much. that's right. Okay. And what we did, we cooked it until the onions were opaque, then we drained it real well. Now the next step, we're going to put in two cans, and this is a 14.5 ounce Donna can. Donna would feed the world. I mean, she doesn't make just a small portion of anything. Well, you know, Peggy, <laughs> this can be frozen. You can make it ahead of time and freeze you it? You can make it ahead All of right. time and freeze it. Okay, now, we are putting in two and cans, let me this around, right, right, of the diced tomatoes. Now that has oregano, Oh, it and smells good. And basil in it. Okay. So it's just really what you need for this spaghetti. We're going to bump it up a little bit with two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. So we want to, this adds a lot of flavor and we might want to bump the heat up a little bit as well. Okay, okay I'm going to let you let continue you, stirring. I'll, I'll stir and you put the heat up. Okay. Okay. So oh, that, that smells wonderful. It is so good. Now, if you don't have the Italian seasoning, you can 
leave it off. I mean, it yeah, wouldn't you be... can leave it off. It's not going to have the full flavor yeah. that this does. But you know, if you have like dried oregano, dried parsley, yeah, just dried basil, you throw can put a little some bit of that in, in there. Now we're going to put in. This is the fat-free evaporated milk. Now that's a half cup. We're going to add a little bit. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And we're going to add a half teaspoon of salt. Okay. Okay, and I really like to bump this heat up because it cooks and that, that liquid actually evaporates and it becomes very, very thick. Last, but certainly not least, I have cooked one pound of kale. And like right, we mentioned- when you say cook, all you did was put it in a little water and steam it, right? And actually, it. I cooked this in one cup of water and one 14.5 ounce can of chicken broth. Okay. And so, and I like, I, I cooked it for about 20 minutes after the water uh, came to a full mm -hmm. rolling boil. We're going to dump that in. Oh, look at this. And that's all there is to this wonderful, now this wonderful would feed spaghetti. How many people? Peggy. An army. <laughs> depending on what you have with this recipe, um, it would feed, I would think, four, six, or eight, and that depends on if you had a salad, if you have maybe Italian bread, See, this if is you a had whole fruit. Meal, all in yes, one. it I is, mean, and it, it's so, it has everything. It is so good. Now I have served it over whole wheat linguine to my guests, and they loved it. So you can get whatever pasta you want to serve it over. Is that if this? you want, yes, if you want to actually toss it with the pasta. Now this is one 13.5 ounce package. We've of course pre-cooked it. If you want to toss it with the pasta, you can, or if you want this to serve the, it over the top of the pasta. Another thing is, I like it with the reduced fat, grated type of Parmesan Romano cheese. Mm -hmm. So you could always add that too, if for a little bit of to. extra flavor. But if, if you can try, if you haven't tried it, try the whole wheat or the whole grain pasta. Oh, it's so good. It has a wonderful flavor. It really does. And it's much better for you. But that that's mm. a great way to get in that kale. And like I said, kale is the best food you can eat. One of the best foods because it's loaded with vitamins A, C, and K. And not only that, it has calcium in it. So look for our products. Again, they're the Nature's Greens mm. kind. Uh, and they're name fresh. They in your favorite fresh. grocery store. Yes, fresh from our family to okay. yours. All right, now we just let that simmer for a we little bit. We will let that simmer for okay. a little bit. And the, and the pasta is already cooked. Yes, that's okay. right. All right. Now we're going to do something else, a little bit different. And when I extended this to our staff, they said, what a kale chocolate cake or a kale my, butterscotch right. cake. Okay. You've got to see this. I walked in here. That is so elegant. And, and I thought, oh, what a beautiful cake. And then she tells me it has kale in it. Yes. So together we're going to make a discovery, the first. Right. I would be remiss if I did not mention my dear and wonderful friend, Melinda Payne, who came with me today okay. and helped me set up oh, and everything. She, she and just kind of wanted to good, get away a little bit, so I, I dragged I'm her up here. I'm glad you brought her. Now this, yes. this is butterscotch. It has butterscotch, butterscotch in it, and that was Melinda's cake. doings. Woo. Okay, she, I can't wait. I was going to put chocolate in that. She said, Donna, don't put chocolate, put butterscotch. So okay. we're putting butterscotch. But this is another simple recipe using kale. And what we're doing, now this is three cups of kale to okay. one cup water. Right. And I cooked it. We're going to put this in a blender container. And then we got to get all this good kale. We cannot get, skip any of these leaves. All this goodness. And we're simply going to add a cup of fat-free milk. Ooh, I have to watch. She puts me to stirring, and then I get so interested, I forget. And that's like smelling so we good. We better turn this down a little bit. And we will blend this. And everybody says, you don't have one of those expensive 
food processes? I said, no, I have a blender and it does the trick. I'm going to turn this, let's okay. turn this down a let's little bit. Let's turn it down. Okay, you want yeah, it turned down. Go. Okay. So we'll we'll put right. it on low. How about that? The next step, Peggy, is we combine one and three quarters cup of flour. We're putting in a half cup of cocoa, three quarters cup of sugar. We're adding to that one teaspoon of baking. That's our baking powder. Quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Baking powder and baking soda. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to whisk these ingredients. We want to make sure that everything's evenly distributed. Now we'll move the dry ingredients over. The next step is we are using actually uh, a half cup of egg substitute for this oh, recipe. Egg substitute, all right. Mm -hmm. We're going to use a third cup of oil. What, and then what did two you put teaspoons. In that? A third cup? Yes. Okay. Of oil. And it can okay. be any kind of oil. Well, personally, I like the extra light tasting right. olive oil All because right. it's not as extra heavy. light olive oil. I, I like mm -hmm. people and to you know what use, you're using. You can use canola if you want to as well. Okay, we will add this to. Now, this is the kale that we pulverized in the blender. We want to get all that goodness out. This and you is the best. you that before you put it in yes, the blender. Yes, I cooked it one part kale to three, I mean three parts kale, excuse me, to one part water. Okay, we want to get all this goodness out and it kind of sticks to the blade. So we got to really get, get it out. We don't want to leave anything behind if at all possible. Okay. Clean behind, between those little notches. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we will whisk these ingredients together. I'm getting caught up back here. Then we will combine the moist ingredients with the dry ingredients. And I certainly recommend that you try this cake because it is absolutely wonderful. Now these are all original re recipes. I mean, yes, which and is another plus. Thank goodness for our staff. They come up and give me the ha thumbs up or thumbs down. I, I tell them, I said, they the only thing everything. I want you to do is be honest. You're not hurting my feelings. This will go out on the website. This will go out on Peggy's show. So just be honest. And believe right. you me, they are honest. Now that's your basic uh, batter. Right. And then you have a bunt pan, which you have already sprayed. Right, right? yeah. Okay, Peggy, we got to stir this up. Because we're going to go to a quick break, but I want people to see this. I don't want anybody to miss this. It's so beautiful. And then after we stir, I think that's about got it. Okay. We will add our butterscotch chips, and also we'll add some walnuts, about a cup of finely chopped walnuts and two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring. Now that's butterscotch in here? No, this is butterscotch right here. Oh, So okay. let's put in the two teaspoons of vanilla. One more stir. And how, what is this, Donna? That's our butterscotch. And it's ready to, to how much? All of it. Then and that's we'll what? Put in, what is that? That's chopped walnuts. Okay, and then you want me to put these in? Yeah, put those in. Put it in a prepared bunt pan and bake this at 350 for 45 minutes or until a, a cake tester inserted in the middle comes out clean. But this is one of the best cakes. Serve it with fresh fruit, strawberries, blueberries. Okay. It's so I'm good. With you. It's so good. Now, while you're stirring that up, we're going to take a quick break. And I want to tell people, this is recipe number 830, 830. And here it is, all the information on here. And it's free. And if you can send us a self-addressed stamped envelope and send it to the Peggy Denny Show, 
Post Office Box 1616, Greenville, South Carolina, 29602. And put the number on there, number 830. We'll send it to you. And this is full of recipes, not just this, but others as well. And it's our joy to share with you. And then we're sharing some healthful ideas. And also, you can click on PeggyDenny.com. And we try to keep the recipes up to date. So now we're going to go to a quick break, and we're coming right back. I, 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 that's, that's just beautiful. Well, thank it you. It is.